My name is Jamie and I'm an Applications Engineer here at NIUK. I've recently been working on a project with the NI MIDAC called MyBIA. This stands for Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis and is a method used to try and determine body composition and body fat percentage. The underlying principle of Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis, or BIA, involves introducing a stimulus to the body in the form of a constant current source. This is introduced at two points on the body and allows the current to flow between these points. The voltage drop can then be measured between the same two points. If you know the constant current source amplitude and the voltage, you can then use Kirchhoff's law to simply work out the resistance of the path through the body. This resistance is proportional to the types of tissue that the current is flowing through and therefore using some equations one can determine what the body composition of an individual may be. The hardware that I've used in my project consists of the NI MyDAC itself to provide the data acquisition hardware, the NI My Proto board to allow me to develop the Howland current pump circuit, some cabling and electrodes with which to connect to the body, and of course a willing patient for me to measure. Of course a PC with lab view on it is also a requirement, however we'll talk about this and the DACMX driver in the software section. As you can see we now have a close-up of the Howland current pump circuit. You will see here this is where an analog output voltage is going to be provided to the circuit and this is going to be provided to a high performance op amp made by Texas Instruments. From here we're going to feed the signal electrode that will provide the stimulus of this constant current source to the body and then over on this side you can see the electrode that's going to measure the response and that's going to be fed back into analog input 1 of the NRMI DAC. The software side of the project consists of a PC loaded with NI LabVIEW 2012 and NI DACMX to tie the hardware and software together. You can see I have my project here with a main VI called MyBIA underscore main. This is the front panel of the VI. You can see on the left hand side we have a section to enter patient characteristics and next to that you can see the input stimulus in the form of a graph which displays the signal provided to the Howland current pump. Next to this we have a graph which displays the measured response back from the electrodes and finally underneath a section to display the results back to the operator, some logging to file along with an emergency stop button. I'm now going to show the block diagram of the code OK, so you can see two DACMX tasks here, an analog output voltage task, which provides the signal to the Howland current pump, and an analog input voltage task, which measures in the input back from the electrodes. You can see they're both timed in the same way here, and at the max sampling rate for the MIDAC. They're also started simultaneously. The voltage that's measured in from the electrodes has a little bit of post-processing done on it, and averaging just to give us a more readable value for the rest of the equations. Once these anomalies are removed from the array of data we use a math script node and this equation here to calculate fat free mass, total fat mass, body fat and BMI. These values finally are displayed to the user and the front panel is updated and if the user has selected to do so then these results are also logged to a file. The final part of this video involves a working demonstration of the NI My BIA project. I'm now going to run the application and measure the body fat percentage of my willing test subject. As you can see, I'm running the application now, and this takes approximately 5 seconds. The application has finished, indicated by the done LED down here, and we have the results which indicate a body fat percentage of approximately 23%. Measured on a commercial device, this gave a reading of around 20%, so although slightly overestimating, it is relatively accurate, and for the low cost and convenience of the portable solution, I think it's a fair trade-off. Thank you, and for more information, please see the below links.